determine the perimeter of this L-shaped polygon. The perimeter would be the distance around the outside of this polygon. So to determine the perimeter of any polygon, we just need to find the sum of the lengths of all of the sides, or we need to add the lengths of all of the sides. But notice in this diagram, we're missing the length of this side here, as well as this side here. But we do have enough information to determine the length of these two missing sides. Looking at our diagram, if this side has a length of 12 centimeters, it must be the same as the sum of the lengths of this side here and this side here. So if this is 12 centimeters and this is 2 centimeters, we can subtract 2 centimeters from 12 centimeters to find the length of this side here. 12 minus 2 would be 10, so the length of this side here would be 10 centimeters. And now we can use the same type of analysis to determine the length of this side here. If this side has a length of 9 centimeters, it must be the same length as the sum of the length of this missing side and the sum of this length here, which is 3 centimeters. So if this is 9 centimeters and this is 3 centimeters, this side here must have a length of 6 centimeters. So obviously this diagram is not to scale, but we do have to base our answer on the given information. Now that we have the length of each side, we just need to find the sum of these lengths to determine the perimeter of this polygon. So starting with this side here, let's go ahead and mark it so we don't forget where we started. We'll have 12 centimeters plus 3 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 2 centimeters plus 9 centimeters. So this sum will be the perimeter of our polygon. And notice that I did include the units, and that's because including the units in the perimeter is extremely important. So the units will be in centimeters, and now we'll find this sum. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 6 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus 9 would be 22. So we carry a 2. 2 plus 1 plus 1 would be 4. So the perimeter equals 42 centimeters.